Half forward Smith doesn't take it with him. Leak goes past him. Bayless gets back there. Handball away to McKenzie at half back. Left foot kick towards half forward. And going up and punching it away nicely was, uh, I think that might have been Kiss. Cross centre wing. Leak's got it. And for Winchell seat, first goal crucial. Goes towards half forward. Long lead. Venables comes out. Sits in the mud. Does well. Handballs it away. Oh. Davis misses it though. Jacker gets there for Thompson. His no look handball backwards was okay. Short little kick. Thompson control the ball. White gives it away by hand. It goes through. Sets to hat to uh, four uh, to uh, Bowles and then to Brown. He goes out looking for Steve McLeod. Gets away from Van der Kluister on the cricket pitch area. Goes long towards Forbes. McKenzie against him. Forbes takes the mark at left half forward. He plays on quickly. Left foot kick. He's okay, goes towards the square, and I think he's found his brother. And Hayden Forbes has taken the mark 10 metres out directly in front. So Thompson, quick chain of handballs in the middle, and they got free and got to Luke Forbes at half forward. He turned around and gave it to his brother, who should put his first on the board and make the margin 11 points. Jeez, I'll tell you what, he stabbed at it, but he got it. And uh, very accentuated by the goal umpire too, <laughs> can I tell you. Don't think Thompson as the ball goes up in the middle again. Mensch got the tap down on this occasion. But Thompson's starting to win the clearances from the middle here. As uh, they don't on this occasion, it stacks on the mill. Finally, the ball gets pushed forward for Thompson a little. But uh, just terribly, terribly scrappy at the moment. The umpire lets them go. And the still he lets them go. And the ball, the, the, well, the pack's rolling for Douglas. Douglas, Douglas now. The long kick straight down the middle of the ground. Unfortunately, he's kicked it straight to Van der Kluis, who dropped the mark. Comes back for uh, oh Gardner. Now it's uh, well, I think uh, Van der Kluis was, was away, going to go. He? Yeah, he, he, dro he dropped the footy. He's got <laughs> he the free was, kick. He was away. Oh, so no. a terrible kick from Van der Kluis. Lux of fortune fell into the arms of uh, Luke. <laughs> Advantage surely be paid. Comes to Higgins. Higgins now kicks it towards the lead. And that's a good lead from Venables from the full forward position. Playing the small forward. It will be a good kick from there. He's a man on the mark just inside the 50 metre arc. Venables with the football. And the answering goal here would be just what they need. The winch side. Moving in. Pretty close to the man on the mark. It's a good-looking kick off the boot. Is it going to get the distance? It is a fantastic effort. So there's the answering goal from Ben. Short, I would think. Back to the middle. Mensch, Bowles, Leek taps it on. Bonner off the half-forward flank. Can't take it with him. Bowles had it, lost it. In the, still in the middle of the ground in dispute. White, get away. Left foot kick to half forwards. Good. Forbes against McKenzie. Punched away defensively by McKenzie. Comes back. Bowles, bowled him. Goes through to White. He gets a clearing kick towards half forward again. Dangerous. McKenzie gets back there first. McLeod, pressure on him. Gets half a shepherd. Oh, does nicely. Gets around. Beautiful to Mench. Handball back to McKenzie. Behind him, but he had enough time. Drags it around in one hand and goes towards half forward. Towards Donald. At the front. His front and centre was okay, but he couldn't take it with him. Hayden Forbes up. Got it away. They get free through White on centre wing. On the outer side towards half forward. Smith on a long lead. Will it sit for him? It must. It's still in. 50 out from goal. But back towards the uh, the, uh, the hot spot. Thompson come out at McLeod. Left it behind though. And now they might be away. Winch through Wilson because he's got a bit of time at half back if it sits for him. And he's got... Uh, Dunkley in front of him, so he plays on, goes to the right foot, kick towards half forward, Higgins to go up, punched away, was good, Wilson to run onto it again, attacks the football, keeps it in front, but Jacker the other way, does pretty well, can't take it with him, blind turn, dropped the footy, umpire said play on, goes through to the middle again, Stephen in the middle, bumps and, and gets tackled, gets the handball free though, Jacker with it, oh, threw it out the end, the umpire didn't see that, comes back, leaks through the middle, as always, right foot kick, torpedo towards centre half forward, punched away back by Venables, still at half Ford, he's wrapped up, not going anywhere. Ball in there, the umpire will come in and ball it up. Winch will see 13 16 to 11 11. Punched away by Higgins, close to the boundary line. Davis to run onto it, doesn't take it with him. And the umpire uh, to Don't the Eastern that Reserve. Joseph. Carway get out. Yeah, the Carway get out. Bowls from the ruck contest, got it away by hand away. Donahue got it to Douglas, goes with a short little kick to McLeod. Stephen takes the mark. Back into the centre wing, chips it over the top. Smith, Mench, Bates goes at it. Bates wins and gets it across half. Back to Watson, under pressure from Bonner. Torpedo punt goes wide, looking for Hayden Forbes. Might sit for him. Coming across also, getting that, get, getting there is season five. West nine eleven, North thirteen nine, that's thirteen nineteen. Werribee Central thirteen ten, Corio seven seven, Bannockburn eight four, Anarchy nineteen ten.
And Belmont Lions 10-10 in Valise 7-7. Seven, seven. So still on centre wing here from the ruck contest. Leek puts the tackle on. The umpire will come in. In season 2013, punch from the ruck contest. And nobody getting it out. Between wing and half forward. Ball, neither ruckman really got a clear tap down. Ball, uh, they're finding it difficult to come out. Uh, Davis is in there. Finally it does come out, but uh, kicks straight into Bowles. Bowles handball to Smith. Smith around the corner looking for... Finds Forbes, but uh, wearing, wearing uh, McKenzie like a glove there. Misty rain, is it, coming across the ground? It's, yes. Uh, very, very dull as the ball uh, thrown in. And uh, Winch get the clearance, but only as far as the middle of the ground. And Mark taken in the middle by uh, Brown. Brown it was. They go wide again. Thompson retained possession. Back. Where will they go from Bobby. here? Come back into the corridor looking for, and, uh, well, they play on quickly. The ball now kicked uh, inside 50. They, they're bypassing Van der Kluster in this quarter, using the ball well. But Van der Kluster comes back into the contest, tries to get it out of the pack. So ball now, centre-half forward, Mench. Well, the wind blew the ball right away from the two ruckmen, and uh, now it comes back off, falls well for Winchelsea. He goes towards half-forward Murphy, pushed under the footy. Now they come back, Venables leads in the race for the footy. Luck is a fortune. He breaks clear with strength. Kick towards full forward. McClure can't take the mark, but at least he gets it toward the boundary. Has he got it over the boundary? No, he hasn't. Well, I think he might have, but the boundary umpire is nowhere to be seen. Uh, so the play will... Yeah, no, the goal umpire uh, got it. So that's, that's uh, good work between the umpires because the boundary the umpire is a long, long, a long, a long, long way <laughs> behind. Boundary umpire now front of the grandstand over there. They've got a uh, temporary grandstand <laughs> making quite a bit of noise for the Winchelsea side, I'd suggest. I think that's still just inside forward 50. Ball in. McClure doing the ruck work. Comes down Davis. Wins the footy. Handballs it in. Gets it back again. Eludes a couple of tackles. Has to handball. Now Thompson. Get the ball on the turnover. Only as back as, as far as Van der Kloos, the middle of the ground. Takes his time. Picks it up. Hooks it around the body. Oh, he misses the top. Thompson. Boundary throw in. Right half forward. Bowles can't get it down. But it comes to Thompson in the ruck contest. Falls out towards Venables. Oh, uses the strength. Gets it away to Stephen. Gets slung as he gets the kick away. And <laughs> Davis falls over and takes the mark. At centre half forward. 50 out from goal directly in front. So, rain getting heavier, yeah, isn't it? Rain is getting a bit heavier here. 17 points of difference. And Ben Davis has a shot for his first. He's kicked one behind this afternoon. This to make the margin 24 points. Is that right? 23, 23 points. 23. Good, good maths. 23 points. He comes in. 50 out. He's made it 18 points of difference. Has he just? Three for one behind. Judy's again. Goes towards half back. Big pack. Babs there through the middle. Van der Kloester. Massive thump away through the hands of Bowles. Brown's there. Handball. Got it away to Melbourne. His handball to Jacker. Top, chopped off by Leek. Back towards Jacker. Threw it out in the end to Gardner. He tried to shuffle it back to Bowles. Went through his hands. Comes back into the middle. And uh, Dunkley ripped off the football. Mench back there. Short little handball was okay. They got it out wide to Venables. By himself on half forward. 50 out. Nobody around him. Sets it up. Right foot kick. Goes for goal and misses. Three for one behind, one goal three. His talent to bring the football back in. What do I do, Dale? Need to go down the middle, don't they? Oh, yeah, I think everything's now just uh, direct football. Play on it. I've been playing at all costs, but they need to get, get a transfer of play right down the middle of the ground. Yeah, Take then. it on. Umpire's called a shepherd in the marking contest there. The freak has gone to bowls from the kick in. So outside the 50, he chips it forward. The lead has come forward from Smith. He takes the mark, goes back. They need to continue, I suppose, Dale, the, the run on play, don't they? That seems to be the thing that's worrying Winch more than anything. Now they've kicked the ball to a contest. A player thrown to the ground after the kick. It could have almost been uh, down the ground. Oh, Leek call, was called out, I think, by... Could uh, nearly be free kick there. In fact, he was for uh, one. He should have been free kick for the charge. Well, that's... And well, now okay, if, if the umpire is fair to him, that's 50. <coughs> Terrific effort there. So that winch now to oh. the contest. Oh, oh, the two Thompson boys have uh, collided very, very heavily. Uh, Donald took the mark in between the two players. Uh, all the Thompson players are uh, 
going into the fence as Donald now comes in. Be a huge kick to get anywhere near it. It's a huge kick. It's a huge kick from outside 50. Brody Donald has kicked the goal. What a fantastic <laughs> effort. That's his fourth. <laughs> he went back and told Corey Norrington, <laughs> you're 60 metres out, mate. You're not going to kick it. Oh. Kicked... Geez, way he kicked that ball. Magnificent. Mensch in the middle again. Falls, though, towards White. Picks it up. Oh, my God, his head absolutely ripped off by Wilson. Handballs it away quickly to Jackson McLeod. Right foot kick. Lead on from Luke Forbes. McKenzie. And front and centre was Smith. Goes back to get the ball. 50 out from goal. Wheels one way. Then wheels the left. Goes back towards Bab. The big Babois taps it on towards Jackson McLeod again. Under pressure by Leak. Wrapped him up. Dropped the footy. Still in dispute at half forward. Getting around Bonner. Wheels. Right foot kick to centre wing. Sawney in front. Takes the mark on his chest. <coughs> Just holds it up, settles the play down. Higgins gives him a lead. He chips it over the top, though, to Venables. Oh, well, he chipped in the middle to Jacker, who was from Thompson. He handballed it to Jackson McLeod in the middle. Jacker follows it up, gives it back to him. The don't argue on to Leak. And he's paid a trip. Don't know why he's going to stop him. Well, he plays oh, on. He didn't oh, go behind the mark. That. Hang on a minute. Oh. <laughs> he, was, he was six metres in front of the mark and then uh, tried to play on Sam Jack. He has to come back and play over his mark, which is Andrew Leake standing on centre wing on the outer side. So, goes now. Long towards half forward. Forbes on a lead. McKenzie. Mench gets back there. Forbes couldn't take the mark in the end. Couldn't stick it. McKenzie got it away to Bayless to, to Van der Kloester. Down the line towards centre wing. Jacker. Higgins from behind. But Jacker should be able to take the mark and does. And uh, just settles the play down. You got Melbourne back in the middle. He thought about it. But Venables came across pretty quick. He goes down the line. Very wide to Smith. And, in fact, out of bounds on the full. Mench gave him a... I'm telling you, look, <laughs> the old soldier <laughs> just put the mouth guard back in. I think he caught one at the end of the nose then. He did. Yeah, I think, I think, I think he did it. too. <laughs> it's a bit cold out there. So he runs down off the hill and he runs on. He gets a shepherd from Bonner and he plays on. Kicks it long towards centre wing. Higgins goes up. Jack Early off the back of the pack. McLeod, Stephen, got it away. Close to the boundary line. Stephen McLeod goes back to get it again. White gets the kick around the corner. Back towards a vacant centre wing position. Smith runs onto it. Handball back in board to McLeod. Left foot kick to half forward. Over the back. Forbes, fourth in line. Goes up. Can't take the mark. Van der Klooster through the middle. Bonner's there as well. At centre half forward for Thompson. Bonner tried to get it out. He does now. Back towards the uh, Thompson forward. Normington fighting hard for it. Pack develops. The umpire may come in. And ball it up. <laughs> Two winch. 11-11-77. Thompson. And the ball spills from the ruck contest to McLeod, who runs in. Jackson, 40 metres out, and he misses on his left foot there. So he's kicked. It's holding Blood Suzuki final quarter scoreboard. 18 and a half minutes played. North 14-22, West 10-11. Progress score there. So Mench tries to use his strength there, and uh, ball comes over the back, leaked to Van der Kloester, slipped back inside, went looking for McFarlane, ended up in the hands there of Higgins, went back outside, Van der Kloester by himself, steady on the left foot this time, goes into the forward line. Mark, oh, good mark there by Venables, comes out. He's been good in the second half. Uh, his first uh, quarter I saw, he uh, fumbled the ball a bit, but his second half's been excellent. And the ball comes back in, and Dunkley has taken the mark now for the Winchelsea side. And he's about uh, 50 metres out from goal. Jeez, they must have pot shots at Thursday night from yeah, training yeah. from this spot. Because they're all you, pretty confident, aren't they? pretty popular. Went back. No, it, yes. <laughs> uh, turned his back from the plays. One thing I really hate, but that's a fact of life. Ball comes in. Dunkley kicks towards goal. It's going across. It's not going to be a goal. A mark in the square. It's all sorry, just in the goal line. But it's been dropped by McLuhan through for a minor score. 14-19 to Winchelsea. 11 goals, 12. And time's now ticking strongly against the Thompson side. How long have we gone, Eric? 19 and a half. 19 gone. and a half minutes. Ball ends up in the forward pocket, ends up in there with Wright. Runs around, goes inside. Dangerous kick. The kick was good. Where the handball back again. So he continues to run down the field. Kicks in towards centre wing. Ball's in the air. Mark's not taken at ground level. The ball's picked up. Well, Jeremy Seasons tackles a little bit high. Which will see uh, avoid the event last year playing on. No, Thompson will be called back. <coughs> And the free kick goes to Gardner. So Gardner has the ball. Quick hands. And that's what they've been doing most of the day. Went to Smith. Now looking for Forbes. Can't take the mark. McKenzie does well. Brings the ball to ground. Forbes quick to recover. Doesn't have it. Hamble was fed out the back. Kick forward. Ends up in the half. Right deep in the forward line. Picked up there. And it's by Higgins. Kicks out of defence. And only as far as Jacker of Thompson. Short kick. Went forward. Found Smith. 
Picked up by McFarland. For the tackle that was. Went forward. Oh, Mench, I think you might have scragged uh, Forbes there. Too. Should have been a free kick. But <laughs> McKenzie comes out. Nice kick. Went looking for Van der Kloester. Bit much weight on it. Went to Sawney. Handballs back to Van der Kloester. Running player inside. Was ignored. On the left foot. Goes in. Looking for McClure. And the mark has been taken. He plays on now. Goes quickly into the forward line. Kick wasn't good. Coming off the boot. Murphy leads in the race for the ball. Also there is Venables. Picked up there by Thompson. Oh, great tackle. And contest. Deep into the Winchelsea attack. Nobody gets an effective tap. Fresh air shot from uh, Wilson. Leak got it away to Sawney towards full forward. McClure close to the boundary line in the left forward pocket. Stephen gets across there, tapped away towards Stephen McLeod. A good pick up and the don't argue. Got rid of the kick towards half back. Close to the boundary line. Sawney comes in against Smith, the two number 23s. It'll be a boundary throw in. Boundary throw in. And it's Higgins up against Bowles. Bowles gets it down. Rain tumbling down even heavier now. Bonner keeps his feet in the ruck contest in the uh, contest. Towards Leak. Bonner again over the top of it. Umpire says play on. Bonner close to the boundary line. I think he'd be happy to see it over. Whole sway. Winchell sees the ball thrown in. True centre wing out of side. Punch forward by Higgins doing some ruck work in this quarter. Lovely handball inside to Sawney. Picked up uh, for Winch. Go towards the uh, full forward position. McClure. In the contest, but can't bend down and pick up the footy. Thompson do so. Goes towards the uh, the lead of Forbes, and that's Hayden Forbes. Takes the mark, centre of the ground. Got to run on. Handballs, uh, or oh, handballs into trouble. Uh, and uh, good work oh. by Susan. That's surely got to be in the back. He's driven him right head first into the ground. Now the umpire is going to ball it up. Free kick as the ball, centre of the ground. Babs gets the tap down. Picked up by Stephen. Kick off, uh, off a step, goes through everyone. Murphy fell into his arms. Now he chips it, looking for Venables in the forward pocket. Can he pick it up? He can. He's carted over the boundary line. In fact, the ball doesn't go over. And uh, Thompson, they get in each other's way there. It's uh, picked up by McLeod. Does the uh, don't argue. Gets the ball uh, across into the middle of the ground. Thompson got numbers there. Take the mark. Babs being helped off the ground. As the ball goes to half forward, Jackson McLeod can't take the footy. Uh, Matheson does well for uh, the winch side. Picked up a handball to Bayless. Bayless to the middle of the ground and Higgins takes the mark and wastes all the time he needs now. Has uh, Susan middle of the ground all on his own. Takes a strong mark. Strong contest there. Susan there. Sees Mench running past. Mench the long kick. He knows where it's got to go. Goes towards the uh, half forward. Falls clear of the pack, Venables. Tackle without the footy. Play on, said the umpire. I think they've lost their whistles in this last quarter as the ball comes towards uh, centre wing. On the ground is Young. Can't take the mark. Go, the Jamie. kick, it's, oh, it's cold, it's wet. <laughs> and uh, two Thompson players run into one another. Picked up by Susan. Gets the ball towards half forward. Over the head of the players back there. There's some tired players out there now. As we uh, go past 24 and a half minutes, ball comes back to the middle of the ground. So the ball ends up with Sawney. He's tackled and brought down in the contest. Picked up there by McLeod. That's Stephen. Flipped the ball out. Only as far as player there in Davis. Davis goes back looking for Leak. Went back to Davis. Davis, they can't pick the ball up in the middle of the ground. Now it's Wilson. Little kick off the ground. Ends up. Player, Thompson, picks the ball up. Goes forward. Watson, into the half-forward line. McLeod by himself in space. Has pressure now arriving. Can't get the handball around the corner. Does so. Good interception there from McKenzie. Goes back. McLeod's also in there. Players are getting pretty tired. There's a fair few errors coming up, but the rain's not going to help, obviously. McKenzie kicks into his own man. Goes back towards Forbes. Tries to get around. Tried to take them all on and couldn't get out of the contest. Picked up by Leek. Fed over the top towards Van der Kloester. Experience. Good body. Oh. Runs through the contest and gets through. Half forward line oh, by himself. Murphy. Good. Oh. Has to take the mark. Can't do it. Player comes out. Kiss all. That was throwing the ball umpire. Picked up, allowed to run on Sawney, goes towards goal and kick is offline through for a minor score. Looks like we could be seeing history, couldn't we? We could. Which first, time. first final ever. Yeah, in the GDFL. He kicks in straight to the coach. Mench takes the mark, left little left foot kick towards uh, Higgins, who took the mark, ran on 20 metres, but has to come back and will shoot for goal from 50 out directly in front. He'll probably kick it from there too, like yeah. the way going. <laughs> yes, Winch will see. Have never played finals in the uh, league before. And barring a mishap at, uh, at the Western Oval, it will be Winchelsea into the finals next week against Werribee Centrals.
Vanderclus to coming off. They think they got it, I think. So yeah, yeah. Coming off for a couple of minutes rest at the end. Well, it's nearly 27 minutes. Yeah. <coughs> he comes in now. He's kicked uh, two goals, three today. Left foot kick. Has it got the distance? I reckon it got touched he, by his, his own, own man. player. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Suzuki final quarter scoreboard, 27 minutes played. Kiss the long kick in, went to Mench, didn't take the mark, taps at the ground, gets a handball back, tries to kick around the corner, smothered off the boot in the middle of the ground. McLeod has the footy, he's wrapped up. Umpire will call for the football as we now tick past 27 minutes. 105 plays 78. It's all over here, I'd suggest. There's uh, Winch now. McLeod picks it up for Thompson, runs through the middle of the ground towards half forward. Contest back there, picked up for Winchelsea by Holmes. He's tackled, comes back again, can't get the footy clear. It's hard to see them now. It's very, very dark here at Winchelsea as the rain's coming down and uh, the ball is at half forward for Thompson. Oh, player Holmes almost uh, ridden into the ground. Ball does finally come out. As Normington for Thompson, can't pick it up. Holmes tries to, stacks on the mill. Ball comes out, picked up by, uh, that was Davis for the winch side. Kicks to the middle of the ground. Now we've got a foot race. The freshest legs will win, and they are on the uh, the body of Dunkley. Goes towards full forward. Nobody in it back there, but kiss for Thompson. Ball kicked into White. White plays on. Caused, uh, well, they've caused a... Uh, a mistake. Now the chance for uh, Winch again to score. Handball comes out wide. Kick forward towards half forward. Curl and can't take the mark, but he's uh, crowded the contest, and that's fantastic. Now there's a whistle on play. Advantage paid. Thompson run on uh, this time through O'Donoghue. Kick towards full forward as the uh, contest there comes to ground. Thompson there, can they uh, get a late goal? Stacks on the mill. It's uh, 28, 29 minutes gone. 14-21, Winch. Thompson, 11-12. So the ball's kicked forward by Smith. Goes into the half-forward line. Forbes comes out, can't take the mark. The clearance work's going to be done there through Winchelsea, and it's Stephen. Goes in the left foot, goes looking towards the uh, centre of the ground. Venables in contest there with Brown. Brown, it is. It wins the Coles up possession. Oh, there Siren it is. Sounds. And uh, Andrew Lex thinks that they were... Well, here at Winchelsea, a very, very happy David Mintz, the coach of the Winchelsea, Winchelsea Football Club, after a fantastic uh, win over the Thompson Football Club. Welcome, David. Thanks, Eric. Thanks for having me. And what's it feel like first year <coughs> coaching the club? And this is the very first time Winchelsea Football Club have ever played finals in the GDFL. Yeah, it's, uh, I suppose I told a few people before the year that I'd be uh, disappointed if we didn't play finals, so put myself in it a bit, but um, yeah, we've had a pretty solid year. Obviously, we've won uh, 10 games now, I think, so um, yeah, we're up against, I think, Werribee next week, so um, yeah, you never know what could happen. And to play, to win a game like you did today, the intensity was, was finals intensity, without any doubt. It's not going to be any different next week, so you're, you're really not going into the unknown. No, we've, uh, I suppose, been cutthroat for the last five weeks. We've won five in a row, and every game, if we had to drop one game, we would have been out of it, I suppose. So, um, yeah, it all credit to the boys. The club put on a, a big day, and, um, yeah, we really got behind it. Yeah, it was a home final for us, and, yeah, we played some pretty exciting footy at times. We've known one, one another for a long time. I don't think I've ever seen you work harder on the footy ground <laughs> as you did today. You, you're above and beyond the call of duty. Yeah, yeah. I need a bit of a rest now, <laughs> but uh, I think we've got a seven-day break, uh, eight-day break now. So, But, uh, yeah, the boys boys did a great job today. Thompson are a good team. Um, they've played finals the last few years. So um, for, our, for our young team to come up and, yeah, have a taste of a finals sort of game today, it's a uh, good, good stead. Well, I was probably alluding to Herman's going down early didn't help you, and, and uh, you did a great job, uh, particularly late in the game. You sat behind the game rather than bust yourself, yeah. uh, but you had a lot of blokes probably came in and out of the game and, and uh, came in at the right time for you. Yeah, it's, uh, we probably bombed it a little bit long uh, early. We had, a, we had Daniel Herman's, obviously he's you know, six foot eight uh, up forward, and we probably bombed it in a bit early, but he went down and... Um, then sort of Brody Donald and uh, players like that came into the game and yeah, like you said, no one really dominated but um, we, had, we had most players stand up today. And I suppose you wouldn't take a lot of notice but, but as commentators, people would go 100 miles to watch a contest like Forbes and McKenzie and uh, how proud of McKenzie were you? Oh, it's, I think the first thing I said before uh, after the game was just thank, thanks to Maka. Uh, he's one person that uh, 
Yeah, you just rely on week in, week out. And he does want to play forward. It's a bit of a joke between us. But um, to have him coming off the halfback flank and um, just gives us that drive there. And he just played an unbelievable game. I know Forbes, I've known him since he was a little bloke. And uh, he's a great player. And to, to, uh, to keep him quiet was uh, probably the way why we won today. It was interesting, <clears throat> as I said, some of your players drifted in and out of the game. Uh, Donald Early wasn't in the game at all. But when you needed him... Kick four goals in that second half and, uh, gee, they're handy. Yeah, like I said, I think we probably went to Daniel Hermans a little bit too much and we bombed it in. And, uh, then when he went off, uh, yeah, Brody came in and uh, he's just uh, really hard to match up on. He's uh, six foot uh, one and can jump, but he can also play small. So it's a good, uh, he's a great player to have. And, um, yeah, at times he goes in and out of the game, which is, which is a little bit frustrating. But uh, on his day, he's really hard to beat. <clears throat> and I guess you'd need a little bit of wind and wind and rain at St Albans next week for for Bonner and Luke. They're fantastic in today's conditions. Yeah, it's been a probably last month. It's, it hasn't been great conditions, and uh, the ground's probably heavy at times. And they're always on the bottom of the pack. And uh, yeah, they're just. Uh, I'm just glad for Leakey. He's played uh, played here all his life and hasn't played finals. So. He had a great big smile on uh, on the end of his dial at the end of the game, and I was just uh, real happy for him. All right, well, I guess you want to get back and enjoy the time with your players. It's a fantastic effort, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next week. And uh, as I said before, you've got nothing to lose. Uh, congratulations on your first ever final at the Winchelsea Football Club, and I think the league would be pretty pleased too. Yep, no worries. Thanks, Eric. It's been David Mench, the coach of the Winchelsea Football